This video is a follow-up for the iStimp video that we previously posted. Since the preliminary review of the iStimp, we have been able to take a more analytical approach to evaluate the performance of the iStimp compared to the PELS meter and a stimp meter-like tool, the Bayco Speed Meter. For this test, we sought out the assistance of Kevin Hutchins at Mission Viejo Country Club. Kevin routinely uses the PELS meter to monitor green speed and he also has a Bayco Speed Meter, a low-cost reproduction of the stimp meter. The PELS meter is a stationary device that has two leveling bubbles to ensure that the angle of ball launch is correct. Three balls are pinned under the spring-loaded trigger mechanism that improves the uniformity of ball release. The PELS meter is a reliable tool for evaluating green speed. Three balls are released from the PELS meter and the average distance traveled in one direction is entered into the, into the PELS meter. The process is repeated over the same area in the opposite direction to yield an average green speed. The angle of the ball ramp, measured using the clinometer application on the iPhone, was estimated to be 19.1 degrees. The stimp meter, or similar devices, operate by lifting a bar to release the ball from a notch that prevents the ball from rolling down the ramp until a specified angle of incline has been reached. Three balls are launched in one direction and the average distance traveled is recorded. The ball launching process is repeated in the opposite direction over the same area of the green. The average of the two readings is the green speed in feet. The speed meter used in this test released the ball at approximately 2 to 22 degrees of inclination. The iStimp functions as a mini stimp meter but requires the user to release the ball when the phone is tilted to a 30 degree inclination. Release of the ball is manual by lifting your thumbs from holding the ball into the home button of the iPhone. The ball travels only a fraction of the distance that the ball released from the PELS meter or the stimp meter travels. Three balls are released over the same area of the green where the PELS and stimp meters were evaluated in one direction, and then three balls are released in the opposite direction for comparison in this test. The results listed in this table summarize the data taken from three locations at Mission Viejo Country Club. The details of the study can be found by following the link that is associated with this video. The iStimp and the PELS meters provided green speeds that were not significantly different as indicated by the letters following the numbers in each row of the table. The iStimp reported higher average green speeds in all locations, and the iStimp also reported significantly higher speeds at location 2 and higher overall average green speed. The iStimp evaluates the speed over a very small area of the green. For example, a green that stimps 12 feet will only result in two feet of ball roll for the eye stimp. It is likely that the small sample area is the cause of the increased variation and lack of accuracy of the eye stimp. Although the stimp meter or similar devices such as the Bayco speed meter used in this studies are the standard for evaluation of green speed, the PELS meter is faster and easier to use. Based upon the data presented here, the eye stimp will seldom provide an accurate measure of green speed compared to the PELS meter or stimp meter, and therefore we cannot recommend the use of the eye stimp for evaluation of green speed.